Well, I'm alongside one of the most infamous players in the league, Tampa Breeze's Liz Gorman, Defensive Player of the Year. Congratulations, you've Thank got to you. be excited. And Thank I heard you. it was quite a, an acceptance <laughs> speech in there. It was, I'm a little emotional, I think you can tell. This is why you should always wear waterproof um, oh. makeup. And I'm yeah, obviously not learning from that, but <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. It's a, uh, it meant a lot, it meant a lot to me. The award is a big deal, especially for football, you know. It was a big deal to me. You play your heart out <laughs> out there. What is your motivation to play so hard? <laughs> this is always a touchy uh, subject, and Mitch, I don't know if he's going to love me or hate me for this response, but um, I played for three years, and it is it is very hard when you give your heart yeah. and your body and you know everything into a sport that some people don't have respect for because of the name or because of the uniform, but each girl, we're... We're so athletic and we give so much to have people disrespect us or not take us seriously because of a uniform. Players don't choose uniforms. And so I started playing because I wanted people to see you can still be beautiful, you can still be intelligent, Absolutely. but you know, we can hit you like Ray Lewis. You know, we still have, you know, the body type to play like a man, so to speak. You know, football is a man's sport, but you know, women love to challenge themselves and I think that we're going to get a lot more respect now that people can see us and and that's why I started playing and I'm I'm so happy right now <laughs> it's been three years and it's like I've had to defend more than uh anything else it's always a on defense what do you do yeah. um uh, I play lingerie football and it's always a quick response I have to be like well watch it before you judge it you know and and I feel like I don't have to defend myself anymore for what I do um, I think people can see what we do so that's why I started playing I wanted people to see that we are athletes and um, we do deserve a lot more respect than people give us so. and people really are catching on here at the awards banquet actually this whole lingerie bowl week You've talked about just this camaraderie, but it's not just the women from each other's team hanging out. Like you guys all have built this really great sisterhood. Right. Definitely. So I mean, how has it been just being able to really get to know some of the girls from the other teams off the field? Because I know on the field it's I it's know. all business. I see that. I'm there, but <laughs> off the field it's got to be fun. Just get oh, to know them. Oh, it's and so nice. And you know, for me, it's always hard. I mean, this is the best word for me, but it's also the worst <laughs> because if you get up there, half the girls are staring at you because they're like, "We hate you." You probably you. sacked them or tackled them or hurt something them. happened. <laughs> and it's like you know, exactly with sportsmanship. You know, you have to understand any person that knows when you when you play sports, you get so passionate about it. That's not who that person is off the field yeah. like it's my job <laughs> you know if I gotta hit you that's my job but off the field especially dealing with women everybody knows yeah. a little emotional you know a little whatever but it's so nice to see these girls and what they do mm -hmm. and you know their struggles and you know behind the scenes you know it's like you have women that are mothers and their jobs and their different things their different lives and then they set everything aside to come play I just I have so much more respect for girls and you know I'll, I'll say this a hundred times. I have so much respect for the Philly team, you know, each one of those girls, I, yeah. you know, it was a tough game for me at the end and I'm just happy to be here to support the other women that come to the bowl because I know how hard it is to get here. You know, I, my team's not here, but each one of the girls I know personally, and it's like, it's hard to have respect for other girls yeah. on the team when you lose, yeah. but once you can set that aside and get to know them, it's, it's, it's just so nice because it's just like they've been through the same stuff you have. So I have a lot That's of respect great. for the girls. It's been great to get to know. All okay, of them. maybe a few more questions because you're such a great interview. I'm sorry. You, no, this is great. No, this is awesome. <laughs> it's my so mom. I talk we've too talked much. a lot about um, just like what a lot of these women are doing outside of the LFL, and you drive. How far to get to practices now? Oh Lord, uh, <laughs> this is a great story. I love the story. I, I used to live in Lake, and we used to drive. Oh Lord, um, I used to drive twice a day because we have fitness and every other thing. So it used to take me about an hour and a half with traffic every day. So I actually ended up moving um, to be closer to the team, and you know, it's been. I, I wouldn't change it you know, anything I've done, I may get frustrated a lot and I may, you know, say a lot of things I, I think I get more pissed off because of outsiders views on us. And that's why I get so pissed. Mm -hmm. But 
it's been it's been a long road like I said you know all the change I think I've changed my body like at least four times it, like in <laughs> well, three years phenomenal. I don't <laughs> think anyone's complaining but it's been a long road but I'm happy about it so. okay the fun side you're in Vegas are you having a great time oh, when did you Lord. get here maybe like are you looking for a favorite place to go visit a restaurant to eat at well <laughs> Should I say I'm single at this point? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, well, I am in Vegas. No, she's going out with me later, but we can't say that on. Yeah, I already did. Not it's already out the there. Town, no? Yeah. It's lies. Yes. Anyway, so, <laughs> no, my mother's here, and I'm so happy Aww, because I was able to mom. fly her in. So I actually drew awesome. from L.A. You know, I was yeah. hoping to be here with my entire team. It didn't happen, but I actually got a rental car because I Aww. didn't want to miss this this year. I missed it last year, and I drove here with my mother. And she's going to be flying out actually later tonight. So, oh, that's um, awesome. yeah. So I'm going to be here for a couple days, and who knows? It's Vegas. What happens in Vegas? You know the expression. And with my personality, we have to see. Watch out, Vegas! It's here she be comes. Off camera. So no more camera after this point. So. We got to cut right here. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Liz Gorman with the Tampa Breeze Defensive Player of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you Ms. so Gorman. much. Thank you. Thank you. And th